Good morning, Saints. Today is Monday, May 16th, 2022. Happy birthday over the weekend to Jenna Haas, Claire Hesser, Darcy Huber, Ian Oric, Lauren Guerrero, and Owen Quincy. And happy birthday today to Charlie Ford and our one and only producer behind the camera, Max Broomfield. The saint of the day today is St. Margaret of Cortona. St. Margaret of Cortona's life story certainly had its ups and downs. Having run away from her stepmother after her mother's death, she lived with a man and bore him a son. Waivers will be available for pickup during lunch periods Wednesday, May 18th. If there is no waiver for you, it could be that it is on hold or you did not earn it. The hold list will be posted in the commons and outside the main office. Please check it. Locker partner request forms will be handed out this Wednesday, May 18th during SCA. There can only be three locker groups together with a total of six people and the forms must be stapled together. Only one form needs to be turned in for each locker partner request. All forms need to be turned in at the main office by the end of finals. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Frederick. STA lost and found items will be on the common stage today through Wednesday this week. Please stop by to see if, you have any of, if any of these items are yours. And if they are, please take them home. All items remaining will be lost. All items remaining in the lost and found will be donated to Turnstiles. There will be a meeting this Thursday immediately after school on Thursday in the auction for all boys participating in basketball events this summer. Please be there at 12 10 p.m. See Coach Cooper Smith with any questions. At the beginning of this year, we got a new priest, Father Ashmore. Throughout the year, he's been a friendly face to all of us throughout the halls. He goes to every single sports game and is the first tier in the morning to do mass and is the last year to leave at night. So without further ado, here's a video from the man himself. Hello everyone, Father Ashmore speaking. As some of you may have heard, over the weekend I announced to my parish that I have been reassigned from Good Shepherd. That means I've also been reassigned from St. Thomas Aquinas. So as of June 30th, I will no longer be the chaplain of St. Thomas Aquinas. I will be here over the next few weeks, and especially over this week, to be able to say goodbye, to say, uh, to say thank you, to be able to spend our last few minutes together. Before this week, week comes, I want to first of all say thank you all. Thank you all so much. I've loved being here at St. Thomas Aquinas. Every day has been a complete joy. Even the hard days, it was incredible to be able to experience it with you all. Walking through the hallways, saying hello, teaching in classes, playing in PE, just hanging out with you all, spending time with each and every one of you has been one of the greatest joys of my life. When I was assigned to St. Thomas Aquinas last year, I was really excited but I was also a little nervous. I, I didn't know whether or not I could do this job well. I didn't know whether or not I had it up to snuff. I didn't know whether or not uh, the students would be able to really, uh, really get to know me well, whether they'd be able to accept me. But you have all been so generous this whole year. You have done so much. You have, you have made me such a proud father at so many points this year. And I want to thank you so much for your gift of friendship, for your gift of love, and for all that you have done to make me feel as though I'm a part of this community. The next month will be difficult. It'll be difficult for me as I transition onward. I will get a new assignment. I will be a pastor of a parish. So I ask for your prayers. Please pray for me. Leaving Aquinas is one of the most heartbreaking things I've ever had to do. I was not expecting this year to be the year that I left, but the Lord calls. And even if it's painful, I have to follow the call of the Lord wherever he leads me. And so I want you to know that though this move is difficult, know that I'm firmly confident that Christ is going to take care of us. He's going to take care of you. He's going to take care of me. You will not be left without a shepherd. There will be a new chaplain soon. You will have someone to love you. And know that I am here always. Just because I'm no longer at St. Thomas Aquinas does not mean that we are no longer connected. We will always be connected by this great community of St. Thomas Aquinas. We will always be connected by our friendship. Though I'm not going to be at St. Thomas next year, if you need anything at all, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'll give you my information when I can. I'll let you know how to contact me. If you need anything, come and talk to me. I will always be your priest. I will always be Father Ashmore. Let me know if you need anything at all. Until then, let's celebrate the last few weeks. Let's enjoy the time together. And let us have the firm confidence that God is going to help us through this time of transition. Christ is our Good Shepherd. 
So trust that he's going to be with us. Trust that he's going to take care of us. And let's celebrate these last couple weeks because we have some time left together. Let's not miss this opportunity. Thank you all so much. I love you all. God bless you. Thank you for everything, Father Ashmore. We love you and we will miss you. For lunch today in the Saints Cafe, spaghetti with meatballs and Bosco sticks. Now it's time for the fun fact of the day. Did you know that the national animal of Scotland is a unicorn? Wow, I just did not know that. <laughs> Thank you for watching the Halo Morning Show. We'll be back with more for you tomorrow. I'm Sam. And I'm Caitlin. Signing, signing off. off. Remember, Remember, stay classy, classy saints, and create while you're here. here.